Bob, your off-season has been a different one this year. Tell us about your new addition. Yeah, about five weeks ago, uh, my girlfriend gave birth to our little daughter, Amelia. So um, that was very exciting, our first one. Um, it's been a bit of a handful, but uh, I reckon I've timed it pretty well in terms of the, uh, the off-season. So uh, Helen's pretty happy. What are the best and worst aspects of fatherhood? Easily the best is when you when you do come home. I've been out training or something like that, or at work that you come home and you know just to see your, your little daughter there. And um, half the time she's crying, but sometimes there are times where her eyes are open and looking at you. And uh, yeah, it, it's great. And obviously the the worst aspects the definitely losing sleep that's for sure and then also another one is is when they're crying and you, and you think you've got everything solved you've got the nappy changed you've got your fed her um, and you just don't know what's wrong with her so that, that's the only uh, negative I think but um, hopefully she'll go out of, out of the crying You were crowned domestic player of the year which is quite an honour but um, your journey hasn't been without its hard yards can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, well, I guess, um, as you've noted, I, I didn't come through any of the pathway systems or anything like that. Um, come through as a little chubby bloke, went down to St Kilda Cricket Club, down to the local club, and, um, yeah, I went to England my first year at the club, or, you know, after the, my first season at St Kilda, went to England, went from 100 kilos to 115 kilos, and, and well and truly got the Heathrow injection, um, and then come back and realised that, you know, look, if I really want to, you know, all, of, all I thought I could do was really play first eleven there, and if I wanted to do that, I did get a lot fitter for starters and um, and sort of my batting a little bit so I worked I worked fairly hard on that um, pu- puberty helped as well lost a bit of puppy fat um, combined with a bit of hard work and um, yeah I, I finally got to the ones and, and started to, to feel more confident as a batter just on the last season you've been able to turn I guess occasionally brilliant performances into more consistent ones what do you think that's been I guess one because I want to play cricket for as long as I can and, and I guess you can't do that by you know having a good season and a bad season uh, and, and keep um, you know not performing as you said with the consistency and, and I think trying to work at smaller aspects of my game especially my batting it's, it's just continual hard work I think and uh, Australian aspirations yourself um, how close do you think you are? I wouldn't have a clue how close I am. Uh, obviously, I'd, I'd love to play for Australia. It'd be, it'd be awesome. It'd be, it'd be um, the biggest thrill of my life. But um, there's a lot of hard work I have to do before that happens, or in at, if that happens. So um, I'm just going back and you know trying to train hard, trying to. As you said, the consistency. I've had a good season and a half. I, I want you know why can't I turn that into two seasons and a half? So um, that's all I'm worried about at the moment. If anything higher happens, then happy days. But they've got you know the Australian team and squads have got a pretty good good nucleus and, and good mix at the moment and um, things seem to be going well for them so uh, I couldn't imagine them changing too much um, but all I'm worried about is, is obviously getting some getting the Victorian team back in the, in the finals, it'll be nice